friends join your hands and silently surrendering yourself for the feet of the lord on this saturday together with the saint joseph was whose feast we celebrate today we glorify we worship and we adore the lord holy spirit we surrender every member every family who are online with us into your holy hands 
we ask you to take control of them and you lead them you speak to your word and your message that we enjoy experience your powerful presence that we long for nothing else but you and your presence we hope for nothing else but you and your word we wait for no one else but for you lord we surrender the sick and the suffering the financial problems the crisis in the families the misunderstanding and the personal sinful weaknesses and bad habits of your children that every unspiritual and worldly spirit be broken down and crumbled down in your presence lead us into the repentance and forgiveness and accept you as our lord and savior we ask in the session of saint joseph was whose feast to be celebrate and all the saints and all the holy men and women to intercede and pray for each and every one of you hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are ye among women and bless is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen all glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Hallelujah 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 What your friends today the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the feast of Saint Joseph Os And this man has been profoundly moved by the spirit of God that's how he could undertake all the struggles all the pain and the still take up the ministry of evangelization and the pastoral work for the people of god who are in really need and he renounced the world and all that is worldly he is a model for all of us as we reflect god's word and adore the most holy blessed sacrament today on the saturday for our reflection with your friends we go to first letter of saint paul to the corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 i like to read before you those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of god's spirit for they are a foolishness to themselves and they are unable to understand them because they are spiritually discerned what saint paul is making here is a distinction between the spiritual people and the unspiritual people what is worldly and what is the divine and this asks a question to you today in the presence of the blessed sacrament whether you are a spiritual person or you are an unspiritual person and the question today was first corinthian chapter 2 verse 14 is asking is that the unspiritual people cannot understand the work of the spirit they cannot understand the spiritual secrets they cannot understand actually how the lord works in the life of the people and in the world and for them all these spiritual matters are really something foolish and they are not able to grasp and understand and when we go further 
again first corinthian chapter 3 uh words i read from 1 2 3 and 4 here what he is trying to explain is that in his address to corinthians he says my brothers and sisters i could not speak to you as a spiritual people but rather as people of the flesh as infants in christ saint paul says i could not address to you i could not write to you as a spiritual people because you were unspiritual and infants in the word as well as in jesus christ Therefore I fed you with the milk not with a solid food for you were not ready for a solid food what he means a solid food is a real spiritual treasures but saint paul fed the people of corinth with the milk he said which means very very shallow the initial and uh, the novices to the spiritual secrets which means actually this which means from the worldly they have not yet come fully to the lord from the worldly they have not yet come to the spiritual lifestyle of god and further you are still in the flesh he says you are still in the flesh as long as there is jealousy and a quarreling among you are you not of the flesh he is questioning and behaving according to human inclinations In the words of Saint Paul, my dear friends, when a person really moves in jealousy, in quarreling, and according to the inclination of the flesh, a person is really in the flesh. They are really unspiritual, and the spiritual matters are a jargon and an alien to them, and they don't understand. For when one says, "I belong to Paul," another says i belong to apollos are you not merely human he addresses over here all kinds of divisions that people are speaking about that i belong to paul and another i belong to apollos now what do you friends remember over here today in the set in the presence of the blessed sacrament when we look at our life something deeper that is happening in the church and our parishes and our life actually saint paul brings out very clearly open and in public that is we are all been ransomed by the precious blood of jesus and we are all been adapted into the body of jesus christ as the members of the church by the baptism and by the sacraments we all belong to one single church one single faith one single baptism and members of the body of christ and christ is the head and we're all been built together Therefore we all have a spiritual communion This is what actually the envisaged vision and the plan of God in letting his son Jesus to give up his life as a sacrificial victim on the cross and he being founding the holy catholic church on the rock of saint peter and continuing the mission from the early christian community up to this day in 2021 on the 16th of uh, january we celebrate the feast of saint joseph of but on the contrary the work of evil the work of satan divides the people in the church in the diocese in the families and in the societies 
in the name of the caste and creed and the color and the money and the position and all kinds of social barriers where we divide among ourselves and call that I belong to someone, he belongs to someone, as St. Paul says, I belong to Paul and I belong to Apollos. And what is the most disheartening is, my dear friends, in certain parishes, a certain group of people demand for a parish priest of their own language, their own caste, their own creed, their own region. And they reject when a parish priest is appointed by the diocese and bishop of his discernment and of his inspiration of the Holy Spirit of God. And there are parishes in the struggles, in turmoil and in problems. Secondly, in the parishes where people demand the parish council, the parish committee and the youth and the people who hold the responsibilities in the elections, in the nominations, people ask and people demand that my man, my person, our person of my caste and my creed and my color and my language to be in the committees, in the local bodies. And then on, on account of these, there's a divisions and a fighting and a quarrel and jealousy and all kinds of uh, problems in the parishes, which is the basic unit of the church. And according to St. Paul, my dear friends, when these things are happening, such a Persons and such families are really living an unspiritual life, a worldly life, a sinful life, not of the spiritual people. Secondly, when we come to the diocese, especially my dear friends across India, in the Indian context that I'm speaking about, when the bishops are appointed, when the nominations are sent and the opinions are being asked and shared, you know, people are demanding for bishops the real, the pastoral care which the Lord has entrusted to the bishop is something very sacred, something very spiritual, something very holy. But in the Indian context, my dear friends, people demanding for a bishop, people demanding for ecclesiastical authorities, and demanding for people from their own language, their own caste, and their own creed, and their own color, and their own regions and choices, and going against the church in up in arms, demanding for these worldly, silly, unspiritual desires to be fulfilled. It is very, very disheartening. It is very, very pathetic. It is something that should never take place in the Indian dioceses, in the Indian parishes, and in the Indian religious communities. And then there is a problem between the majority and the minority, the seniority and the juniors, and the haves and the have-nots, the powerful and the weak. And when all kinds of things takes place, my dear friends, in our Indian context, and even to that matter, in the worldly context, all over the world, worldwide, this is a challenging question today when we come into the church, when we come before the Blessed Sacrament in worship, in adoration, in prayer and all kinds of spiritual experiences. Now how do we understand this, my dear friend, problem 
in the basis of God's word. I read over here from the first letter to Corinthians again, chapter 15, verse 19, St. Paul reminds us an important uh, dimension over here. If for this life only we have hoped in Jesus Christ, we are of all people most be pitified. St. Paul is asking a question, have you believed in Jesus? Have you been baptized? And have you received the calling only for this worldly life? Then we are the most people to be pitified. For the simple reason being, for all the worldly unspiritual purposes for which we divide and fight and having jealousy and quarrel and all kinds of unhealthy sinful competitions. Remember, nothing of this will come with you when we die. No one will walk with you finally when you leave this world. For you and me and all of us, my dear friends, we have to leave our caste and creed and color and language and power and possessions, money and all kinds of influences. One day to this world and to the other younger generations and go to the presence of the Lord absolutely empty handed. That you take nothing with you. It's only you and your God when you stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And when to such a calling that we have, such a destiny that you are going to meet and I am going to meet, a temporal few years of life that we live on the face of the earth, as a baptized Christian, as a baptized Catholic and into the old sacraments and more importantly receiving the body and bread of Jesus Christ in every holy liturgy, holy sacrifice. How can, my dear friends, this unspiritual, worldly and the spiritual, spiritual matters really go along, really go hand in hand? It is impossible. It is impossible. Therefore, while you listen to this word, without a third man to point out a finger at you, the Spirit of God must lead you into a realization within, whether you belong to a spiritual family, a spiritual group, of real God's sons and daughters and the church and the diocese and our family becomes really a spiritually experienced saint. Places or are we unspiritual people where we are divided into all these uh, silly, petty, selfish and absolutely sinful ways of divisions. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Ha Hallelujah. 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 And moving further, my dear friends, when we turn to letter to Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, St. Paul makes once again a very, very serious statement over here for our reflection as we sit before the Blessed Sacrament on this Saturday. I know you have come here in this new year with a lot of resolutions maybe, with a new decisions maybe, and all kinds of uh, envisaged plans for God's blessings and growth and development in this 2021. Therefore, I'd like you to listen Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. So if you have been raised with Jesus Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on the things that are above, not on the things that are on the earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Jesus Christ the Lord. Now see what the word of God says over here. If you are a spiritual man, if you are a spiritual woman, 
if you are of the spiritual in nature set your mind and heart and your conversations and your desires everything on to the spiritual matters godly matters matters that are concerned about really god's word if you are unspiritual people then your mind and heart and your words and your encounters will be of the worldly now the question is my dear friends what actually powering your word powering your contacts powering your behavior and character and my dear friends remember moving further when we turn to the letter to philippines okay chapter 3 verse 18 and uh, 19 and 20 i like to just read before you a greater challenge in letter to philippians chapter 3 st paul is making before you and for me i read over here 18 19 and 20 for many people live as enemies of the cross of jesus christ as i have often told you and now i tell you even with the tears in my eyes their end is a destruction their god is a belly and their glory is in their shame their minds are set on earthly things but our citizenship is in heaven and it is from there that we are expecting a savior our lord jesus christ now this actually challenges our spirituality i know we go to church i know we participate in the various spiritual activities and even the material activities of the running of the church and the parishes and the dioceses and day to day affairs now in all what we do the question is my dear friends where do you place the importance what is the paramount important thing for you this is a question that has been asked by saint paul my dear friends because all those who live a worldly life an unspiritual life they are living a life against the values of the gospel they live a life against the holy cross and even against jesus christ in whose name they are baptized if i have nothing to do with the jesus and his values if i have nothing to do with the gospel and the gospel teachings if i have nothing to do with the baptism of the holy spirit which i have received my dear friends then the question is my dear friends what the bible is asking you remain an enemy to the cross you remain an enemy to the gospel you remain an enemy to jesus christ himself for these becomes only an external attractions for me which create the platform for me to gain and look for something that has been very very worldly and very very unspiritual but actually bible says over here is that when you really belong to the lord you will leave the world you will leave the materialism you leave the jealousy you leave quarrel you leave the divisions and you leave all kinds of caste and creed and demanding for my own men and women in the parishes in the councils in the parish priests and at the bishop and so many other positions and recognitions that are being already be established in the holy catholic church see what a what a powerful comparison the word is making with the spiritual and the unspiritual people and he reminds us that your citizenship does not belong to this world your citizenship belongs to the heaven and we are members of that kingdom of god my dear friends this is what actually my dear friends we need to understand praise the lord Hallelujah 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 Let us recite together Hail Mary 
full of grace the lord is with you blessed are we among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary, mary mother of god pray, pray for us and us now, now and at the hour of our death amen and finally before we conclude my dear friends the spiritual people always set their minds and hearts on the god and the gospel and the spirit and the spiritual matters the unspiritual people their thinking and words and actions and the matters of concern are of the world and the interesting thing is the unspiritual people try to interpret try to read and try to understand and try to teach what your friends the gospel the bible and the bible words in according to their need according to their taste and then which is suitable to their whims and fancies i give you one example over here when you turn to the gospel of luke chapter 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to when you read there is an incident of jesus calling the first disciple from the sea of galilee in that calling simon peter and his companions were well, really working hard whole day and night and they just caught nothing they were fed up they were tired and they gave up the idea and then cleaning and washing their nets and then jesus comes to the shore and he says cast your net on the right side of the boat and you will catch a good fish and simon peter says lord i have worked a whole night and got nothing but according to your word i will let down my net and in fact he had a very very large hole of fish and when peter had this experience i read over here words 7 uh, and 9 7 8 so they signaled their, their partners in the other boats to come and help them and they came and filled the boards so that they began to sink but when simon peter saw this he fell down at the feet of jesus saying go away from me lord for i am a sinful man now this is the real incident that happened in the life of uh, simon peter a miraculous catch of fish at the word of jesus in the presence of jesus in the sea of galilee now many people interpret this in a wrong unspiritual worldly way saying that if you call jesus and if you are there with the lord if jesus is there in your boat when you call upon him when you pray to him and when you listen to his word he will make you catch a good haul of fish you for your prosperity for your blessings for your employment for your financial problems for your sicknesses for your failures and for all the bondages and for all your success and the financial prosperity you call jesus he will come into your life he will enter into your family he will come into your business and you will grow you will flourish into a 30 and 1600 fold you will enjoy every worldly possessions and every worldly pleasures and then your life will be superb this is what the worldly interpretation of this luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 10 which means the spiritual inspired the book of the bible and the words of jesus are not been made crooked pulled down to the lower level of the worldly and unspiritual way and try to pray and hope for but actually speaking my dear friends 
the spiritual interpretation of the word is this that when saint simon peter saw the miracle simon peter saw the big hole of fish and all the boats are full and his companions are coming to help him out when he saw the power when he saw the miracle when he saw the wonders in verse 8 of luke chapter 5 simon peter fell at the feet of jesus begging lord please go away from me for i am a sinful man actually what happened to simon peter he's been led into repentance he's been led into forgiveness he's been led into a spirit of humility and surrender and submission and he could understand how great is the lord he could understand what a holy is this man he could see what a great presence of the lord is this that he is experiencing and he is telling lord i am unfit for you he realizes himself what he is doing and actually with that remember he becomes a disciple of jesus he did not go after the big hollow fish he did not go behind the boards he did not go behind the net and the fish after a big hole huge catch of fish he left everything here is the most important thing he left everything and followed jesus my dear friends remember you may be someone waiting for these worldly prosperity miracles and wonders and healing and then deliverance and all kinds of growth and prosperity fine and not against this we need all these blessings we need all this prosperity but remember every miracle that you experience every wonder that you see every encounter of the lord that you find in your life and every blessings of the lord that you are receiving from his mighty hands and his presence must lead you from the unspiritual life into a spiritual life from the worldly into a godly life from the divisions and quarrels and jealousy you must be led into the fruit of the spirit of god as a love and peace and unity of the holy spirit of god looking for and demanding for my own caste and creed and religion and my own men and women of my language we must be moved into the worldly a spiritual godly way of life where all these worldly things becomes meaningless and i become spiritual i become a member of the body of christ i become a man and woman moved by the power of god's word i must be a man and a woman led by the spirit of god in the repentance and in the forgiveness that's why john chapter 16 verse 8 says when the holy spirit of god comes he will prove the world of sin of justice and of righteousness when the holy spirit touches a person when a person moves from the world to god from the unspiritual to spiritual moving from the nothingness of the world in the greatness of god this transition must take place in the life of you and of me going to church sitting for the blessed sacrament attending the holy mass reading bible and listening to the preachings and receiving most importantly the body and blood of jesus into our hearts and moving with the members of the christ's body in the church we must be led into that repentance or else my dear friends finally when you die the angels will bring you to the judgment seat of christ and there you will be answerable for every word every division every quarrel every jealousy and all kinds of a groupism and the language where finally you go with nothing 
you can't even take a one pie from this world no one will walk with you when you die you know the covid 19 the corona has taught a big lesson to the world that people have died like animals the dead bodies have been scattered and thrown into the world into the graveyards with no priest no blessing no prayer and just nothing and just nothing can you imagine my dear friends therefore today as we come to this blessed sacrament today as we are waiting for god's presence and anointing place your hands on your heart ask this question to yourself my dear friends are you spiritual or unspiritual are you worldly or you are godly are you led by the spirit of satan or led by the spirit of god is there any type of jealousy and quarrel and division and demanding for my caste and creed and color and language and failing to accept the church the bishop the priest and then other office bearers as the members of the body of Jesus Christ remember you are answerable before god the lord is supreme and you will rise for a final judgment either for the eternal life to the presence of god or for the eternal condemnation examine your conscience as i'm going to pray for you join me in one spirit and one mind and heart we ask the holy spirit of god to give you a discernment we ask the holy spirit to give you a repentance we ask the holy spirit to give you a forgiveness we ask the holy spirit to control of you and lead you into the spiritual presence of god godly living life based on god's word life led by the spirit of god o oh, father son and the holy spirit we surrender to you all your brothers and sisters online in the holy adoration in the presence of the blessed sacrament lord every word is inspired by the holy spirit of god and written by the evangelists in the bible we pray that the same holy spirit may touch and inspire and lead your people into repentance into forgiveness into understanding the tears may run down from their eyes in fear of god's judgment in fear of the condemnation in the fear of hell and the fear of the fire and its burning that one day single handed i have to stand before the judgment seat of christ lord we pray that your spirit of god may give them a understanding that every sons and daughters every member of the church and every member of the family is a body of jesus christ and we are all equal in the presence of god nothing of the world nothing of the worldly nothing of the power and possessions will help in the presence of god my dear friends ask a question to yourself have you divided anyone any man and any woman on the basis of the caste and creed and religion and color and the regional groups and the state and, and the places if you have divided people if you have struggled and divided people and interpreted the word of god in according to your need and taste remember you have committed a sin not against the people but against the god against the word of god against the holy spirit against the father the son and the holy spirit lift up your both the hands towards the blessed sacrament my dear friends 
lift up your both the hands towards the blessed sacrament from the worldly lift up your hearts to the godly from the unspiritual lift your hearts towards the spiritual matters let the word of god may really teach you in its meaning and the spirit of god lead you to repentance and forgiveness pray for the unity in the church pray for the unity in the parishes pray for unity in the councils pray for unity in different ecclesiastical authorities pray for unity in your family pray for unity in the church pray for unity in the states pray for unity in india pray for unity in the whole over the world that we have one church one baptism one communion one lord one teachings one gospel and we are all one lift up your hands my dear friends pray for this particular grace hallelujah 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 pray for this particular grace let there be unity in the name of jesus let there be unity in the power of god's word of god unity by the power of the holy spirit of god unity in everywhere every places hallelujah 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 friends keep your both the hands slightly open before you as a choir is going to lead us in the prayer and worship earnestly long and pray that the holy spirit may lead you into repentance forgiveness the holy spirit will lead you into unity of the church unity everywhere that the spirit of god may lift you off from the worldly into godly from unspiritual to spiritual ask the spirit of god to touch you take control of you and to lead you join us join us oh spirit of god oh the word of god oh jesus christ touch your children Do every day what I have 
have to do. You know, it's looking below, it's worse now and then. Cheating and stealing, violence and crime. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. Do you remember when you walked amongst men? Well, Jesus, you know, looking below, it's worse now and then. Cheating and stealing. Violence and crime, Lord, for my sake, teach me today, one day at a time. In the presence of the Lord, in the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, Jesus. that's all I'm asking from you. What I have to do Teach me Yesterday's gone Sweet Jesus And tomorrow may never be mine Lord help me today Show me the way One day at a time To do everything what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today, show me the way. One day at a time. Yesterday's gone, yesterday's chance, and tomorrow may never be tomorrow mine. Tomorrow may never be mine. Help me today. Show me the Show way me one today. day at a time. Show me the way one day at a time. One day at a time. Your friends ask the Holy Spirit of That's God to give you the sermon. I'm asking from you to judge and lead you the right way. Just give me the strength. To surrender. To do every day, every day of what my life. I have to do. To make an option for you, what shall I do in my life for Jesus? Yesterday's God, sweet Jesus. Jesus. Touch me, Jesus. That your and spirit tomorrow may never penetrate be into my heart, mine. into repentance and forgiveness. 
Lord, help me today. Let me hold on Show to me the godly way. matters. One day at a time. Let me hold on to God's word. Yesterday's gone. Let me make an option Jesus. for God. And tomorrow may never be mine. To understand with an open mind. Everyone is my brother Lord, and sister. Help me today. Show me the way. One day at a time. Lord, help me believe. a sacrament and the Lord will speak to you the Spirit of God may lead you to repentance and forgiveness bring you together to the unity of the church Amen. unity of the body of Christ Amen. unity of the parish Amen. unity of the diocese Amen. and we always look up to the godly spiritual living bow down your heads as you wait for the blessing of this sacrament as the Lord to seal you and pull you into the nucleus of God's presence Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament has left a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may ever fail within us the fruit of your redemption. Who live and rule, well without Amen. And with the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let us upon you and remain with you forever.
our own desire Sweep across our hearts with holy fire Have your way This is your house, your home We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you This is your house, your home We welcome you Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear friends, a very warm welcome on this Saturday to celebrate this holy sacrifice. We have the following intentions for the day. For God's blessings and protection upon the family members of Fodo Baigade in Naredi and Lucy Rani. For the departed soul of Yalam Chilli Nagaratnam, Mass offered by Marnin Chinnaravu and Vijayarani. Mass offered by Laura Steen for the spiritual growth and all the other members of the intercession. For the departed soul of Boga Maria Karana Kumar, Mass offered by Boga Arugim and family. Thanksgiving Mass for the Rosary team members, Mass offered by E. Felix. Thanksgiving Mass for all the blessings received upon Gopu Thomas Reddy and Vijaya family and for the departed soul of Yerva Joji Reddy, Shauramma, Inna Reddy and uh, Lurdamma. For the congregation of the daughters of Saint Anne, especially for the victory of the court case, Mass of Fadabai, Amadala Ram Babu. For the birthday blessings upon Pulliki Pavani, Mass of Fadabai, Ramanadora and family. For the blessings and for the good health upon the family, Mass offered by Ramana Dora and family. Mass offered for the repose of the soul of Mr. and Mrs. Annamma and the Vargis, the parents of Reverend Father Benny Yasvidi, that the Lord may grant them eternal rest and the perpetual light may shine upon them. Mass offered for the departed soul of uh, Allam Lord Reddy, that the Lord may grant him eternal rest and console the bereaved family. Mass offered for the departed soul of uh, the wife of Ellen Govin, who died of COVID-19. That the Lord may grant her eternal rest and uh, console and strengthen the family to continue their trust and faith in the Lord. Mass is also offered for all the 2,400 members of the intercession. That the Lord may protect them and lead them into the spiritual anointing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mass also offered for the Divine Mercy Center team that the Lord may continue to unite them with the unity of the heart and mind and with a vigorous spirit to continue the evangelization. We also offer this Mass for all of you who are online waiting for the message of God and for the Holy Eucharist. My dear friends, wherever you are, Join your hands and close your eyes. Remain in a moment in silence. Bring to your mind all your intentions and your prayers, your sacrifices and offerings on this Saturday. Let the Lord be pleased to accept our sacrifice, that you may share the blessings of the Lord for the efficacy of the Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, today the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the feast of Saint Joseph Voss, who was born in the state of Goa in the year 1651. He was ordained as a Catholic priest for the Archdiocese of Goa. By the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, 
Father Joe's was, my dear friends, had a desire to do the work of evangelization and the ministry of the Lord in Sri Lanka. But due to the historical heresy of Calvinism, this man could not enter into Sri Lanka officially. Therefore, very secretly, quietly, on road, on foot, he crossed over from Goa to Sri Lanka and began to work for the people of Sri Lanka in the ministry of evangelization and the preaching of God's word and administration of the sacraments. Saint Joseph was, was a very, very enthusiastic missionary working for the poor people in all the hard situations of life. And he worked in Sri Lanka and he died in Sri Lanka as a great witness of the Lord as a priest. And in the year 2015, Pope Francis declared Joseph was as a saint on January 14th. And today in the Holy Catholic Church, on the 16th of January, today, we celebrate his great feast of Saint Joseph Voss. He is an inspiration for the missionaries. He is an inspiration for the parish priests. He is an inspiration for all of us who keeps a desire to serve God, no matter the hardships and the struggles and difficulties. Therefore today as we celebrate this feast of this great man, Saint Joseph was, we ask his intercession for all of you who are online in the Holy Mass and we also ask the intercession of Saint Joseph was for all the priests and the sisters and the lay ministers who are in the ministry of evangelization. That the Lord may strengthen them with this earnestness of Saint Joseph was and is a desire to face all the hardships and to witness Jesus in all the situations of life. Today as we partake in the Holy Mass, we ask God's pardon and mercy for our negligence, for our sin, for our failures and ask Him to be merciful to us as the Lord to cleanse you with his precious blood and living water, that we become the worthy participants of the Holy Eucharist and in a contrite and unworthy manner we receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Let us make our confession before the Lord and say, I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us, May He forgive us our every sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, have mercy. Christ Jesus, have mercy. Holy Spirit, have mercy. Holy Spirit, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with the heavenly care. O oh Lord, we pray that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have said. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 12 to 16. I repeat, book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 12 to 16. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirits, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before him, no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are yet without sin let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need and this is the word of the lord thanks be to god The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 2, verses 13 to 17. Jesus went out again beside the sea. The whole crowd gathered around him and he taught them. As he was walking along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. And as he sat at the dinner in Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were also sitting with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they said to the disciples, Why does he eat with the tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. And this is the gospel for us today. Praise, Praise to your Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away all our sins. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, as we entered into the time of the offertory, we surrender every missionaries and every lay ministers and the priests and sisters all over the world in the ministry of evangelization that they may be empowered by the spirit of Saint Joseph who was the saint of the day. And silently, all of your intentions place on this holy altar and we pray that the Lord will accept ourselves and our offerings.
to Jesus I surrender all to Him I freely live I will ever love and trust in in His presence daily live I surrender Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, the sacrifice of ours become acceptable to the Lord, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for all His holy church. My dear friends, in silence, join your hands. And we make a spiritual offering at the time of this offer tree. In remembrance of Saint Joseph was all the priests and nuns and lay helpers and ministers in the ministry of evangelization we surrender on this holy altar. We also surrender all your intentions of the day. We surrender all of you online that you have prayers, your intentions your struggles and pain and difficulties and agonies, all your resolution for the new year 2021, your children and their future, your husband and wife, your father and mother, your finances, your property, everything we place on this holy altar that the Lord may bless and accept our offerings We make all these prayers in the precious and powerful name of Jesus Christ of our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Lord, o Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through you we have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself is your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but a profit is for salvation in and to the person of Jesus Christ. And so in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you with joy and one acclaim as we call together. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. My dear friends, as we call upon the Holy Spirit of God, we pray that the same Holy Spirit who guided and inspired, anointed Saint Joseph was, May inspire, anoint, and lead you and all of us in this auspicious time. Remain in prayer, waiting for the presence of God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a perfect sacrifice may be made to the glory of your name. Hands so of Father, we bring you these gifts of bread and wine, and we ask you to make them holy. To the power of your Holy Spirit, 
that these may become for us the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate this holy eucharist on the night when jesus was betrayed he took the bread again he gave you thanks and praise he broke the bread gave it to his disciples and said take this all of you and eat it this is my body which will be given up for you When the supper was ended he took the cup again he gave you thanks and praise he gave the cup to his disciples and said take this all of you and drink from it this is the cup of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant It will be shed for you and for all so the sins may be forgiven do this in memory of me Let us proclaim the mystery of Christ. Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection we offer you O Lord the spirit of life the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you humbly we pray partaking of the body and blood of Jesus Christ we may be gathered into the one by the holy spirit Remember O Lord your holy catholic church spread throughout the world and bringing her the fullness of charity together with her Francis O Pope Pula Anthony our archbishop all the bishops the clergy and your entire religious and faithful people Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection We pray for all the departed souls from our families all the victims of the covid-19 and every soul in purgatory and the orphan souls for whom there is no one to pray for have mercy on us for all of us we pray with the blessed virgin mary the mother of god saint joseph her husband and all the apostles and saints who called throughout the ages we pray for all the intentions of the day We pray for all of you online the Lord may bless you and your family and all your intentions. We pray for the departed soul of Allam Lord Reddy, Shashila Reddy, Japamala and all the other personal requested prayers that we hope to see you of your glory. Where we may enjoy your presence forever where our mortal bodies are changed into your glorious body we hope for that day to the intercession of saint joseph us we too be counted among your saints and enjoy 
the vision of your glory forever and ever amen through him with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours almighty father forever and ever amen amen ah amen let us recite the same prayer that jesus has told us to call our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our days by the help of your mercy we may be always delivered and set us free from all evils all bad habits all the quenching spirits and all kinds of disturbances of the world and all kinds of temptations of the body as a wait in blessed hope for the second coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ you said in the apostles i leave you peace and my peace i give you Look not on our sins but the faith and the trust of your people and graciously grant us peace in accordance to your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the peace of our lord and savior be with you always and, and with your spirit let's offer each other a sign of god's peace and love Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world grant us peace Friend this is Jesus Christ the Lamb of God who inspired us saying Joseph was for the ministry of evangelization and the pastoral care happy are we we're called to receive him in this banquet of god's love lord i'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say a word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of jesus christ bring us to everlasting life amen
share this banquet of love Eat my flesh, drink my blood Do this in my memory This command says the Lord I give specially to you Love each man as I love you By the sign all we know What I have to bestow Through this love man I reign you From this banquet of life Bring my love to the world Be a sign for all to see that I bring man my peace through the breaking of bread that I come to make him free let us pray humbly we ask you almighty God be graciously pleased to grant your children who renew their life with the sacrament we may be also will serve you with the loving relatives and we weave life of pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And with the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit medicine upon you and remain with you forever Amen. Go in the peace of Christ Thanks be to God My dear friends wish you all a very very happy feast of Saint Joseph was that the Lord may bless you through the intercession of this saint. In the month of January, my dear friends, from 25 to 29, we have online retreat in Telugu language. You can share this information with all your friends and neighbors. We have the two hours in the morning, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Indian time. And in the evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Indian time, the retreat. And we have a very powerful team of 2,400 families who are dedicated to the ministry of intercession. For all your intentions and your prayers, you can contact us on this number and we will remain committed praying for you and for your intentions. May God bless you abundantly and have a wonderful Saturday through the intercession of Saint Joseph us and God bless you. I bow my head in prayer Take this day Make it yours And fill me with your love Away Maria Gracia plena All I have I give you Every dream and wish are yours Mother of Christ, Mother of mine Present them to my Lord Plena Dominum Tecum Benedicta Tecum